you think you know Better Call Saul? Well, here's 10 things you may not have known about the Breaking Bad spinoff. What the hell kind of math is that? 700 per defense. No, no, no. Defendant. Dent. Three defendants, 2,100, which, by the way, bargain what I did for them. They going to jail, ain't they? Standing in the shadow of a cultural giant like Breaking Bad can have its perks. Better Call Saul debuted at a record-setting 6.9 million viewers in its premiere episode. While Breaking Bad was shot on 35mm film stock, Better Call Saul is shot in digital 4K, a cheaper method for producing the large, beautiful panoramas associated with the desert-based setting. Initially, the show was planned to be a 30-minute comedy, but co-creators Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould decided to keep the show more in line with its source material. The show is an hour-long drama that series star Bob Odenkirk describes as 85% drama and 15% comedy. I'm the best lawyer ever. The pilot contains a black-and-white sequence based in Nebraska. This could be a nod to Alexander Payne's 2013 film, Nebraska, also shot entirely in black-and-white and starring Bob Odenkirk. In episode one, we can see a coat and hat that looks suspiciously like the ones worn by Walter White in his Heisenberg persona. In another scene, we see Saul's Suzuki Esteem parked next to a Cadillac DeVille, his future ride in episodes of Breaking Bad. The first episode takes place in May of 2002, six years before the events of Breaking Bad, and around the same time the final episodes of The X-Files would air. Show creator Vince Gilligan was a longtime writer on The X-Files series. Wonder how the directors achieved some of the more unique shots in the series? Director of photography Arthur Albert would shoot with a Panasonic Lumix GH4, a camera so small it can be tucked into many unusual spots. Much like in Breaking Bad, clothing colors are used as a major thematic device to portray characters' personas. In Better Call Saul, red colors are reserved for evil characters and blue are used for good characters. Of course, nothing is black and white, except for those scenes in episode 1, and most characters wear varying shades and change colors from scene to scene, representing their multifaceted personalities. Tying the previous fact into cars in the Breaking Bad universe, Walter White's Pontiac Aztec is widely recognized as a cipher for the state of his soul or mindset. In Better Call Saul, Saul Suzuki is primarily yellow, but with one replacement door colored red, a hint of evil creeping into his soul. And here's a bonus one. All of the series' episodes end in the letter O, except for episode 5, Alpine Shepherd Boy. The episode was originally titled Jello, but the title was scrapped due to copyright issues. And you will atone! It's Ned Beatty from Network. For Christ's sakes, guys. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know TV. Make sure you subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com.